Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Wacky Wednesday here in the Mosh Pit, everybody. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which puts us at 221 over 240 for the TM Trainer Run, the first like street goal of 2024. Thank you all very much for making it possible. And like we said yesterday, we are going to be starting off with a greed and run and then seeing where the episode takes us. Who knows? Let's see how wacky it's going to get. But first off, here's your amazing doggo of the day sent in here by Manto725. Southred was simply just Invicta Doggo. And then they also said, hey, Sin, been watching your videos since around episode 600 and decided to watch it before bedtime with my big dog Smalls cuddling me while watching this greed run. Thank you for everything that you do and keep up the awesome Isaac content. And uh, yeah, Smalls does not look like a small dog at all. We, we need more doggo representation. There's too many dang cats out in the world here in the mosh pit. So thank you very much, Manto and Smalls. Shout out to Smalls as well. Big dog, big, big old dog. Let's see what happens here with this greed run to start us off here. Okay, so today's going to be Lima, Lima, Juliet, Zulu, three golf, two, six. We've got Skipping Stone. Uh, I mean, good damage, but really bad tiers, really bad movement speed. Shot speed is kind of and whatever. And yeah, we'll go in the curse room. Get an Alge's rune. So, uh, eh. I mean, the Alge's rune might, like, we might be able to use that in a, in like a boss capacity, but obviously... We're going to be looking for like a demon judgment or something like that. And there's no temperance machines in the at, at all in, in greed mode. So uh, also starting off with a stopwatch, which is kind of a uh, kind of an OK item, I guess, especially if we're looking at, you know, 0.92 movement speed. But it's very quickly going to stop being effective for us just because, like, we don't have the ability to kill enemies very quickly, so, which means that we're going to need we're going to need more than just a little bit of a slowdown to help us out. Like, I would much rather have something like, say, shoot to whoop or sulfur. Or anything like that can, that can help us eliminate enemies rather than just you know mildly inconvenience them a bit. Um, but by that same token, it, it should allow us to mitigate some form of damage here um, uh, with us being able to obviously dodge faster than the mobs can move. So you know it could be worse, but it definitely could def could definitely be better than than the uh, than the good old stopwatch here. And of course, like I said, if we get in trouble, we do have the Alge's rune. So just in case of that, if that's something that needs to happen, you know, getting that 30 second invincibility shield is going to be very, very useful. Yeah, see, the problem is that our, our tears rate is so, so bad that even when we slow stuff down, we still can't even get like shots off and effectively kill stuff before like they're on us. How did you move all the way down here, by the way? Oh, okay. You're just going to keep doing that, huh? Clown physics. Okay, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah. We shoot something from below, and they move somehow towards us. That just that makes all the sense. Game. And this champion is still alive. There we go. Okay. We have that tinted rock inside the shop, which obviously we, we definitely want to get. Um, we also have a key, which. We haven't been. So we're gonna check out our item room, and uh, yeah, little Steven, not what we're looking for here. I gotta say. So if we end up having to use the, if we end up having to use the Alge's rune here, I'm gonna be real mad. But I mean, it's better than dying, obviously. And we do get a damage upgrade, which is not really that much consolation here. Burkano runes, kind of whatever. Um, yeah. Not great. I think Widow is going to be problematic, but we should be able to deal with her. Slow her down a bit. I mean, the damage—the damage up that we get from Mom's Ring definitely is going to help out. I don't want to—I don't want to poo-poo that. It's just that we need—we need tears. We don't need damage right now. I mean, we do need damage, but we don't need damage. That makes sense. Well, Steven is going to help us out, however, though, because he fires basically faster than we do. And especially against Orange Champion Dookie, which is not the worst Duke. The worst Duke is Green Duke by far, but Orange is second second worst, I would say. Okay, so we want to try to kill Larry second here if we can. But Black Monstro is going to be a problem because he is super tanky. The reason why we want to kill Larry. 
reason why we want to kill Larry second is because we want to get that soul heart from him. I don't know how Black Monster is still alive at this point. Because we've only hit Monstro here, and he's... There we go. We didn't get a soul heart. And that is a huge disappointing devil deal. I am going to, we're going to be forced to use the Algis rune here. And little horn's not terrible. It's just, again, it's not, it's not little horn's fault. It basically comes down to us not being able to produce the DPS that we need, the tiers per second that we need in order to, qual to, to really amplify the effectiveness of, of little horn. Um, we do have a bomb. We might be able to get a nickel out of that keeper. Yeah, this is the reason why I wanted to hold on to the bomb. Okay. Should have put it there for the secret room anyway, but whatever. All right. The Halo. Halo's going to be nice. Uh, it does start us off in the right path here with all of our stats. Go right back up to 3 HP. We get starter deck here. Uh, I will take starter deck. I mean, it's half. It's a, it's half price. And we have the lover's card, which. Uh, yeah, we don't really want Jawbone. Well, I guess Jawbone's not terrible. The D Twizzle. Now, the D12 is interesting in greed, but it's not. We take it automatically interesting. Let me reroll. I'll just run. Fortunately, there's no way for us to uh, to utilize that Alger's rune. So now the lover's card it could potentially help us out in the devil deal if we use it in there. Um, that being said, of course, it is going to give us an empty heart, so we need to be a little bit cautious about that. But this, it's really not a huge, huge, huge deal. You know, is it better to get an extra item room item or a better better to get a devil deal item here in this spot? Probably a devil deal item, I would say, because we just need more offense. Pro bomb's making a mess of everything. Thank you, Jawbone. So while we're getting rolling here on the second floor of this greed and run, we'll go over to last week's question of the episode, which was the from the run it back episode that we had with that awesome R key that we needed to actually use. And uh, the most upvoted comment from my question, which was to R key or not to R key, came in from a tragic, tragic tricycle accident 4993. What a name, what a player, who said, I mean, nobody here is going to complain about a one to one and a half hour video. I can use a video like that to watch in, with two meals. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I was actually, like, kind of asking, would you have arcade or would you not have arcade there? Uh, but I'm glad that someone rolled with it because <laughs> that's not I, – I guess I should have been more more specific there. But, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that people enjoy the longer episodes. Every now and then, like I said, the, the, the longer episodes don't bother me too much. We just killed Baby, blighted over, and we did. Thank you. I didn't know you could do that, Little Horn. So that's a that's a surprising revelation right there. I'll slow down Dingle as soon as he decides to charge us here, so we can maybe get a couple of applications of Little Horn. Uh, the second most upvoted comment came in from Trenton uh, Trenton Olson eight eight three eight seven. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to dodge and also read at the same time. We said always R key and they put a couple of cool emojis. Love, love, love longer videos. It helps me get to tomorrow's episode faster. Thank you very much, Trent. And last but not least, the third most upvoted comment came in from Santiana, uh, Santino Giordano, uh, who said uh, definitely two R key. Always a fun time when you can run it back. I agree on that one as well. Thank you everyone for answering that one. I'm going to rip uh, Guppy's. I'm going to rip uh, the lover's card here. We're going to take Guppy's collar and also take Abba Dabba Ding Dong. So we get our damage. Our damage is looking very, very good. But the thing is, is that we kind of still need to get some tears rate, man. Um, the tears rate currently is not phenomenal. Our damage is, is really, really good for where we're starting at anyway. But, uh, you know, 
this is just what we have to look forward to if we don't get any tears ups. Yeah, we we need to get some we need to get some tears ups bad. I'm always happy that people enjoy the longer episodes. I know that here's a here's our first tears rate upgrade. Um, you know, every now and then, you know, I got to cut. I, I got to cut run short or, you know, maybe not go as long as we used to go, but I've got to be cognizant of, of, of vocal health. And, uh, you know, I hate, I hate having to do that, but just, you know, after all the, after everything that happened towards the end of the, of last year, uh, with the cough and everything, definitely need to pay more attention to that. But when we do actually get a video that is longer than usual, you know, it feels a little bit more special and I'm, I'm glad that people enjoy that. All right, so we've got our work cut out for us here. We do, we did get our movement speed fixed thanks to Abaddon. Um, it's just, it just comes down to tears rate, and thankfully, thanks to the consolation prize, we did at least get a little bit of help there. But that's only a point five tears up, plus obviously with the halo as well. But um, we need to, we need to get more. If we can get more and get like a solid tier effect, like Jacob's Ladder or Dead Eye or something, or even Death Touch, like then we're looking. We're looking at some big time plays. People have been asking me how I feel about the Buccaneers winning the NFC South. And I don't really feel anything. I'm I'm more disappointed than anything because that means that we probably have just done the bare minimum to save Todd Bowles' job and keep Baker for another year. So yeah, 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 your boy's not. I'm not. I, I, I was really hoping we were gonna get embarrassed by the by the Panthers. I, I like. I know that that's kind of like bad form to root against your team and everything, but I look. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't enjoy football with Todd Bowles being our head coach. I really don't. I, it's straight up. I can I can only be only be true to myself. And uh, you know, we the Buccaneers won the third straight. NFC South in the most underwhelming, unconvincing fashion of all time. And uh, in the most buccaneer way possible. But, you know, it's three straight division titles, so yay. A, a, a second boss bloat here, which I'm not too happy about. Luckily, our damage is good enough to put him down here, thanks to the, uh, largely in part, Due to those that amazing slow, but now this worries me that we're going to see double bloat here, and we don't. We see triple sloth. But yeah, I don't really have anything too great to say. I mean, yay, we won the South, but you know, I, I want to go back to actually like watching and enjoying football again, and not uh, not just being like, ah, oh, whatever. I love it. Cold changes things a lot here with uh, Skipping Stone. Love it. Cold actually makes it a little bit better with with Skipping Stone. He's a soul Bethany. Uh, the fortune doesn't really matter. Then we use a Chariot card to get out. Let's see what that Tarot card is. I'm not going to. So right now I'm not feeling incredible about this uh, about this the spot that we're in. That's a huge tears up that we just got from toothpicks, however. Oh man, we got we gotta go for the D sizzle. That's to get the D sizzle, but right now I think that we should focus on grabbing the shot speed up. Oh tears up as well. We're one cent off. Hopefully we'll get the nickel here. Did. Okay. Now we're starting to look a little bit more improved. We can get the D-Sizzle. Go into the curse room real quick. Get double soul hearts. Okay, it's starting to, it's starting to come together now. I wouldn't necessarily say that we're saved yet, but we're getting there. Got it. Really got to get rid of that bomb. There we go. The bomb wisp. Random soul heart showing up right there.
and using little Abaddon to kind of chip away and uh, get some AOE damage out. Nothing too spectacular. Again, we don't need to really we don't need to really pigeonhole him into into the the game plan here. It's just if we can get damage with little Abaddon, you know, work it. But don't go out of your way for it. stopwatch being hugely helpful here in uh, saving us from getting some bad damage. And yeah, look at the chunkage there from uh, Love of Coal and Skipping Stone. The reason why this combo just works is just because uh, the Skipping Stone animation just makes the... It makes the tier last in the air a little bit longer, which therefore increases the 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 uh, damage multiplier from Love of Coal very quickly. I was waiting for Skolex's tail to kind of show up, and then we just go ham. Now go Skolex here. Definitely want the D6 before we go into the Devil Deal. I don't know why the camera did that again, but I guess that's just that's just what happens whenever whenever Mom's heart shows up. We're gonna get far, far, far away. Again, really trying to take advantage of the lump of coal bonus here. Remember, we also have uh, we also have the jawbone. What is going on? We also have jawbone blocking for us, which is nice. Super easy fight there, no problem. And man, we only need to take one of these. This is two or three for Leviathan, though. We're going to take Brimstone. And this gives us Leviathan and also Flying, which gave us Leviathan anyway, so... Okay. Now we're we're looking we're looking okay now. I think I think we're going to be all right. We'll be all right. Uh, we don't need shot speed anymore because we don't have any more shots. I was really close to taking uh, Eye of Belial there. But it just didn't make a lot of sense to me anyway. The spades. I don't think I mind. Or never mind, we won't. Um, it just didn't make much sense in my mind to take it. Um, just because I think that Brimstone is going to scale a little bit better with our damage here, especially with Lump of Coal. And I don't think it's going to be... might be able to bomb our way to a full charge. Maybe, maybe, maybe to get... Yeah, re-roll with the D6. Oh, we get the D20. <laughs> okay. Uh, well. I would love to get Chaos as well, but we don't need Chaos with the D20. All we need is just three cents. All we need is just two cents. We can't drop the tick, unfortunately. Yeah, we get keys. That's okay. We didn't really need it, but I'm going to take it anyway. Now I really wish that we, we wouldn't have taken Brimstone. He's a clubs, turns everything into bombs. I want to get a couple bombs here. It doesn't matter if we turn if we turn the coins into bombs, just because like we're going to we're, we're going to re-roll them with a D20. One thing I don't want jawbone to do though is to go grab all that stuff because we don't want we don't want to be picking stuff up right now okay. all right 
righty, let's see here. Now, butter. No, butter, butter, butter can't get rid of can't get rid of brimstone. Okay. Ooh, man. I will take card against humanity, as that is potentially going to be a large amount of money. What we need to do is we need to re-roll into a full charge here. There it is. Let's see if we can get the petrified poop early on here. There it is, but we've already popped most of our poop. Oh yeah, we can't pick it up anyway. Death card, tower card. What is this? Fool card. Okay, so we're gonna re-roll everything on the ground. No premium coins, no nothing. We gotta go we gotta go buy our full charge like a scrub here god uh i will take the eternal heart take the soul heart and i think we gotta roll for big roll for big uh big time plays again go ahead and get rid of the boss first hey, even with soy milk here you see how much damage we're dealing On the Void and Horde Babylon. Uh, definitely don't need either, either one of these, to be honest. I'm going to take Maw. We don't need Horde Babylon at all. Okay, we get a full charge here. Stoked about that. Here's up. Doesn't really matter with Brimstone and Soy Milk, but we'll take it anyway. He said diamonds turns everything into coins, so we might as well try. Some premium coins there. Luck upgrade. We got a dime here. Get a nickel here. Good, good, good. Starting to, starting to get something now. Hang on now. Holding key and pick it up just in case we do get a uh do get a a, a chest. Another luck upgrade there. Nothing doing for the rest of the room. So as long as we're making a nickel per uh, per roll, that's fine. We could do this indefinitely. Now, obviously, the the best case scenario here is going to be us rolling into a full charge, which is what we did right over here. That way, we save money, and then we're just building and building and building. Two of spades doubles our keys. We don't really need keys anymore. As a Yara rune, oh baby. Oh, mama. Okay. Now we've got some stuff on the ground to work with. Another Yara fruit. Well, well, okay. Okay. Well, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't think that we were going to get that many chests here, but yeah, you know, it's, it's okay. All right. Looking, looking quite good now. We we got plenty of bombs. We don't need we don't need two of them clubs anymore. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and re-roll this real quick. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good on uh, needing needing money. I think we are we are all right. We are set. Okay, got another lover's card. Uh, sure. Got a theme. Oh my goodness. All right, let's uh, let's buy some stuff here. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get rid of our full charge for sure. Let's let's not get crazy now. Mr. Dolly, take mom's box. Yeah, use it. Yeah, okay. I don't really want that. 
yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these some of these dollar dollar dime over here. Dollar dollar dime. Okay, there we go. Two of spades, two of spades, uh, two of spades. Lots of sun card, two of diamonds, and lots of luck ups. Lots of luck ups. Two of spades again. Don't really don't really need it, but it's good to have two of diamonds. Go ahead and drop those two of diamonds down here. Just, uh, just for safekeeping. Now we missed some luck upgrades up there. That's okay. Got some eternal hearts here. You know, we gotta make our make our, our red hearts come back a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. Not the greatest re-roll, I'm not gonna lie. Get a wild card. Lots of wild cards. Um, hear font. Eh, you know, we can we can hear font that again. Just just put some more stuff on the ground here. There we go. There we go. There we go. You, want a, you want another? You want another one? Let's go. We'll get ourselves another one. Okay. Again, Temperance Machine does not matter. Uh, I am gonna re-roll at this point just because whatever. Uh, scam box. I mean, the scam box would be able to get filled anyway. Most likely. Yeah. Wait. Okay, we got conjoined now. By the way, if you don't know what just happened, we we held on to that last wild card there, and I decided to see if it you if you could use it with um, the alabaster box, and turns out you can. So that's cool. I just do that real quick here. Uh, red stew is not going to matter because we are not leaving this room anytime soon. Uh, we could, however, use a potato peel to get some more damage. Grab these soul hearts real quick. There we go. Okay. Oh, another two diamonds. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get rid of the leech. It's a jawbone. So, charge key there. Lots of uh, that's a soul of soul of canes. Apparently, apparently that didn't matter. Okay. I just I just wanted to make sure it wasn't bugged. Turns out working as intended. An eternal chest was just going to spit out more stuff here. Obviously, mom's mom's key would be amazing for us if we end up having it. Yeah, let's go ahead for a reroll. Sorry about that, sigil baffment, but you know I just can't pick you up. Yeah. So I guess because we use the Yara rune, that's what's like making them just kind of duplicate everything. The Hoggle is rune. And we get an HP upgrade here. Ooh. Ourselves a dice shard up in here. We'll use the dice shard. Yeah, we'll take common cold. Oh, we get more stuff anyway. Uh, Binky, welcome back, Mom's Pearls. Get another luck upgrade. Our luck is 17. Pretty good. Would have loved to have gotten chaos, but you know, hey, that's that's how the mob flops. Mystery get oh. That would take Sty. Well, actually, Sty doesn't really do much for us. Holy mantle there. Just gonna make ourselves a couple more meat boys. Some damage here from Jesus Juice. Yeah, I'll take another it's another HP upgrade we can use for, for meat. Uh, luck foot, because, I mean, you know, we need more luck. This is just a glorified soul heart. We don't care about that. And we'll take our two of diamonds. Go for one last hurrah here. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't want to sit here and break the game for like an hour and a half. Um, but I will say it does feel good. That's this card... Okay, 
So I think we'll just go to the next floor here. We've, we've seen everything we could. We've got a stars card. Hang on a second now. Hang on. These are reverse stars card, which means they're going to take away our oldest items, which I don't even remember what they are at this point. So we get the mark and Dark Prince's crown. Lover's card is going to give us a uh, Sanguine Bond. Okay. First stars card is going to get rid of Steven, and we get Flip and Omega or er, and um, Pentagram. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. All right, Let's keep it going here, shall we? There's a tender rock down there. I'm not going to miss you on that. Okay, let's see. Well, I mean, four and a half volts been been showing up a lot lately. Uh, gonna roll. We don't need blue cap at this point. Yeah, mushroom. We definitely don't need. Earthrite's gonna give us something to work with here, and uh, yeah, let's say so. Okay, okay, all right. If you're wondering why I'm not using the two diamonds, just it's simply because we just don't need to yet. Um, racer. Eh. Okay, so we didn't get any, we did not get any full charges here, but that's okay because we have the four and a half volt. I don't know what happened to our conjoined shots. And I will take the quarter. Okay. Crack crown, I'd love to have you, but we just can't. Here's upgrade here. Uh, what are you, Bricano? You know, hearts. Okay, we get a lot more stuff on the ground. Oh my god. Yeah, they're all they're already dead. And sulfur. We could just take sulfur for the for the dub here against Ultra Greed. I think that's a smart play, especially with us having soy milk. Soy milk sulfur is gonna be intense. Uh, should have used my two of diamonds. Let's go ahead and pick up the money in here. Don't think we're getting more money. Bomb the judgment. Bomb the keepers. Just to see if we can get a couple extra cents. Not going to happen. Let's go ahead and rip it and roll it here. Just get some HP. Uh, sure. Take odd mushroom. Give us even more. Marbles, we can actually swallow the uh, swallow the the tick now. Horse papers, we get speedball, and I think that is it. Tower card, sure, we'll use tower card. Wait, We're, we're not done yet. Uh, sure. Ball bandages. Okay. Now we're done. All right. Well, let's see how well, uh, ultra greed does against sulfur brimstone or sulfur, uh, sulfur plus uh, four and a half volt plus mega brim. This should be a very quick outing for us. And just keep an eye on the uh keep an eye on the charge here.
Like, I mean, the stronger we get, the more damage we do, the faster we get the charge, which means the more damage we can do because the stacking effect of sulfur is just, just too OP, man. Four and a half Fulton Greed is just, is just God tier. Absolute God tier. There we go. Down goes Greed and man, oh man, was that an absolute shellacking. Got to say that that felt uh, really good. We got the game break, but we got to do another run. We got to run it back here. We got to run it back. It's, it's wacky Wednesday, man. Second run. Sure. Why not? Why, oh my goodness. Seed day is going to be golf six uh, Zulu November two Victor Delta three. Holy moly. We're starting with the pact. We got metronome. Now metronome is interesting, although it can give you some bad stuff. It can also give you some good stuff. Uh, but obviously the story here is going to be the fact that we're starting with the freaking pact. I will take it. One third of the way to Leviathan. We also get a massive damage and tears up here at the start. Plus two soul hearts. Sign me up. Sign me right the heck up. <laughs> I wanted to do the Captain America theme or meme there. So your super jump didn't go all so well, huh? <laughs> a trite just missed us uh movement speed is kind of a little bit of a turd in the punch bowl here with the uh, 0.88 but if that's the if that's the worst thing that's going to happen to us from a stats point wise to, to start off with like i'm fine absolutely 100 percent fine with this start we'll find our item room of course You know, three bombs or five bombs for 15 cents is really, really good. I don't know if it's use all of our money at the start of a run good, but pretty solid. A member card. What's nice about Metronome is that if you end up rolling into like, say, HP upgrades, it, it will actually give you like, say, like it rolls into breakfast, for example, it will give you even though it's a temporary item it still gives you the benefit of said item. So, like, if we roll into, like, the quarter, it gives us 25 cents. Uh, if we roll into HP, it gives us that HP permanently. Like, it's it's great. But you do run the risk of running into, like, it's not the D4. I think, I think Metronome can give you Damocles. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I do like Mr. Boom here in the early game, too, as uh, he is going to allow us to really... Put on the early pressure on bosses. Could go for a little cheeky roll on the on the shop of the bomb. Now, what else? I'm something I might do is I might end up using this Algis rune on the confessional booth um, and getting a lot more HP. There we go, Mr. Boom. Metronome couldn't do that. We look at that, we get the tears up and a shot speed up as well. I am going to use this Algis rune on the confessional booth. See if we can get ourselves a couple soul hearts would be nice. There's one. There's two. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Two soul hearts for the price of one Algis rune. I'll freaking take it. Uh, we can even go in the curse room and maybe look for Leviathan. Or Guppy. Guppy would also be nice. I mean, sure. I'll take euthanasia. Why not, you know? The euthanasia will give us the execution dart. That uh, instantly kills anything that it hits, including, like, statues and stuff. And those really annoying uh, skulls that kind of bounce around. And I got to say that this start is... Superb. Super. Super. Who knows that reference? Yeah, you know... A dude from Wilderness Cooking, you know who I'm talking about. Guy from Azerbaijan. Super. 
I love that. that that's one of my one of my favorite non guilty channel pleasures. Watching that, watching that his channel, Wilderness Cooking Channel, is so good. If you haven't seen if you haven't seen that channel, you are missing out on one of the most divine YouTube experiences. This is a, a man who who feeds his family and a village of I don't know how many people by cooking amazing dishes in Azerbaijan and uh and he just he makes like incredible looking dishes like giant catfish, giant sturgeon. I mean, you name it. Like he he roasted like a whole freaking bull one time. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have taken small rock, but you know what? Our damage is good enough to where I don't mind the movement speed down too much. I just wanted to see what happens. But yeah, it's the, his channel is so incredible, and and this all the B roll footage that he shoots is is top notch. Um, it really like it shows you like how much more top quality production quality can add to a YouTube video. Like they're they're like little mini movies in a way. Um he lives out in the farm, he's got like his own like his own spring, his own like he raised on his own chickens and ducks and stuff. I mean it's it's insane how much uh they go through in the production of these videos and it the quality definitely it's it was worth it. I mean they get tens tens of millions of views on some of them. Like it's insane. And uh I think my favorite dish that I've seen him make so far is he he roasted this this humongous, like, it looked like a Wells catfish um, that uh, he roasted in the ground. And, man, just a huge, huge flakes of white fish. Man, I'm, I'm starving now. I'm hungry. Your boy's going to have to go eat something after this, I think. I do wish that there was a good fish and chips place in this town. There's not, like, I, like I miss... That's one thing I miss about Bermuda is that, you know, we had authentic British fish and chips shops out there. Like it was that it was it was glorious. It was a, a treat every time we got to go to the fish and chip shop. Call it the chippy. Gonna drop Mr. Boom and just laugh. Get shot speed here. Um we pretty much have to go for devil deals, I think. And no we do not. Here's the Maze. I'm going to go into the cursed room here just because we're unlikely to return back to it. Um, we do get a key out of here, so and 15 cents, so that's fine. First, the maze flipped us. Now, one thing I am a little bit peeved about is the fact that we have Candy Heart, but we don't have any Red Hearts to back it up, um, which is why we're going to hold on to this Lover's Card for quite a while. This Candy Heart gives you permanent stat upgrades for every Red Heart that you heal, but... If you don't have red hearts to heal, then guess what? You can't heal. This is not a good fight for us with this movement speed. I'm going to take the left hand because, again, we are highly motivated to stay on devil deals here. And especially with us getting guppy, that would be nice. Um, soul hearts are going to be a big plus. If we're not going to get red hearts. We need to keep up with the soul hearts. Now, the problem that we see, and you've already been seeing it here, is the fact that I, like, I was so... <laughs> I was so enthralled about talking about wilderness cooking that, like, I didn't even think about not picking up small rock. Um, so that's bad. And and these these rooms right here are exactly the reason why I put so much emphasis on movement speed. Movement speed is not everything, but it's very, very, very close to being everything in this game. If you can't dodge effectively, you're going to die. Um, same thing goes for you know tears raid. Tears raid is everything in this game. But movement speed is not far behind. It's a very often overlooked uh, stat in Isaac. And uh, you know, see what you're seeing right here is the result of us making a, f a fairly big mistake of taking small rock so early on, which is my fault. Like I, I own it. And this is just gonna be a nothing burger of an item here, thanks to pestilence. Again, Mr. Boom, helping us out, take out some of these annoying mobs and annoying bosses. Yeah, we, we cannot outrun that at all. You have to take Backstabber here. So we do get... Essentially, we traded Backstabber for a Judgment Payout, which is fine. But, again, it doesn't it does not improve our situation in terms of our survivability. And this is not good. 
Our damage is fine. Our damage is fine. DPS is fine. Our tier effect is great, of course, with Backstabber. But we need movement speed. And it's only going to get more challenging here as we keep going on through this video. Through this, uh, through this run. Of course, I have to keep Vibrant Bulb here just for the movement speed. I hate to drop the uh, left hand, but honestly, we kind of have to here. Okay, so we can use the moon card to get out of the mob trap room. Secret room is most likely north of this room, in between the curse room and this room. Just based on looking at the map. I guess it could be there too. Yeah, so it was there. Okay. So we got the compass, which is great. I'm happy for it. Um, I really, I really want to hold on to the left hand, but at the same time, I don't. Um, it's too much. Even like we only get a 0.25 movement speed upgrade with the uh, vibrant bulb, but that's assuming that we don't use Mr. Boom, which most of the level we are not using Mr. Boom at all. We get the Larry that does not drop the soul heart. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so we get our we get our stats back a little bit here, thanks to Mr. Boom. Get a free entry into almost a free entry into the uh, curse room here. By curse room, I mean uh I mean item room. So I absolutely have to take Unicorn Stump. Unicorn Stump plus uh leading Leading off the any room with a unicorn stump orbital play is going to be really, really strong. Unless, of course, we can't reach it like this room here. Then it doesn't matter. Unicorn stump also recharges very quickly, which means that we get to have the benefit of uh, the vibrant bulb helping us out. So now what we can do is we can go into the cursed room and then full card out of there. Almost walked on those spikes. Almost did it. Almost did it. I didn't, but I almost. I tried to. Her skull is not going to help us out that much. Potential soul hearts in here. Don't get any. Now we're kind of in this weakened state, state where we don't have our movement speed bonus from Vibrant Bulb. Oh man, oh man! But that as soon as that damage ramps up from uh, from Backstabber. And we do gain a slight movement speed bonus here, courtesy of Unicorn Stump, whenever we use it, but. It's not, it's not all that effective. Uh, we can also, we pretty much have to use the. Uh, pretty much have to use the Soul of Eden on the boss drop. And losing that soul heart to something as idiotic as walking into the spikes that I already talked about not walking into hurts in more ways than one because now we cannot take a devil deal if we get one. I thought Bumbo was just not taking damage from anything. I am going to take HP. I do want Maul of the Void. Gives us two or three Leviathan. Soul of Eden. There was not a reroll inside of the shop. Okay. 
got to be real careful here. Yeah, there's a bedroom, which is three free soul hearts for us to get to. So I did a little clever trick there, which was I charged up Maw of the Void before using Unicorn Stump, and then Unicorn Stump triggers Maw of the Void, and there's two beds in here, which is six soul hearts, like mana from the heavens. Oh my goodness. That's a big time play right there. So what I was saying is that I use I charged up Maw of the Void before walking in and then using Unicorn Stump. And normally you're not allowed to attack with Unicorn Stump being proc'd like that. Um, but Maw of the Void will still go off. So not only do you get to have your Maw of the Void attack, but you also get to have the invincibility of uh, Unicorn Stump as well, which helps out greatly. Unlike Demon Baby. Does not help out greatly. Normally he shoots stuff into Isaac or like shoot your bombs. Now we have this really wicked opening here where we can just use Maw the Void along with Unicorn Stump. Every single room, essentially. So as long as we're charged up, we can walk in and do this without really any consequence at all. I mean, can't get any worse. Shot speed up. Gained nothing out of that. In fact, we gave up more HP from standing on the explosive diarrhea pill that just kept going on and on, by the way, than uh, we gained. And I do not know how long this retro pill is going to last. But we're going to stick to the game plan here and just wait until we have a full charge of Maw of the Void. We heard the backstabber procs go off there thanks to Maw the Void as well, and yeah. That's good. We do get meat here. So we're getting damage, but we need movement speed. Like any movement speed would be fine. Now we did swallow Vibrant Bulb, which is nice. So we freed up our trinket slot, essentially. Bible, we'll also get uh, Necronomicon, which is not enough for Bookworm. We find the, if we do find the Tinted Skull, tinted skull we could uh, go and use the Bible to insta-kill insta Mom, but I think our damage is actually high enough to where we don't need to even need to do that, really. Didn't charge up all the Void here just to show you the difference in the killing power. So rule of thumb is we do not walk into a room without having Maul the Void charged. There's our Tinted Skull. Definitely had to get, put it in the most obnoxious spot on the map possible. We pretty much have to get all that damage out before Maw of the Void fades. Otherwise, our then we're then we're relegated to using our uh, our tears for or not tears, but our orbital for damage. That's not where we want to be. Save a key here by just. I mean, we only have one bomb, but I'd rather save the keys to be honest. The intruder intruder's been showing up quite a lot lately too. I guess I'm not worried too much about Maw the Void not being charged because we had easy targets there. Do 
Super Seeker room should be to the right of there. I think. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Then we are going to go smash the mom fight and uh, get ourselves an extra item, hopefully from Boss Rush. No backstabber procs, which I'm a little bit sad about, actually. This is why I felt it necessary to take the risk of going down to 1 HP from all the void, despite us having really bad movement speed. We got bailed out by the uh, by the double bedroom there, even the single bedroom, but this is why. It's hard to pass up the damage that you get from all the void. And Maw the Void doesn't even give you a damage up anymore. It just gives you the ability ability to deal damage in a very strong way. Definitely going to go to the pole right here with our movement speed. Uh, contract from below. No. Okay. Contract from below is kind of eh. I'd rather have the HP for uh, an extra devil deal here. And uh, we could go purity. Got the damage up. I wanted the tears up, obviously, or the, or of course the uh, movement speed. Can get another crack at it walking out of the curse room, though. And we got the movement speed. Oh my god, we're moving. Look at this. My god. My god. Look at our. We're we're this speed of light, Isaac, over here. Look at look at this zoom at one point two one gigawatts. Now we just need to make sure we don't get hit so we don't lose it. Okay. So we're feeling good now. We've stabilized. We still don't have good movement speed, but thanks to the purity, we at least have the resemblance of a movement speed upgrade. Some sort of some sort of relief movement speed department. And wildly, wildly successful combo here of uh, Maw of the Void plus Unicorn Stump. Then Backstabber just getting damage, just icing on the cake. As long as we, as long as we get the little ones out, that's fine. Addy RNG. Gonna do what he does. Look at those juicy backstabs there. There we go. There we go. Still no movement speed, and at this point, there's no reason to think that we're going to get movement speed. Um, but as long as we maintain the purity buff, we are okay. 1.46. It's it's serviceable. We did not kill anything there. Got Gigante Bean. Might be able to bomb our way into the vault. Yeah. I can lie, I thought the mall I thought Mall of the Void was procced. Team sale doesn't really matter for us. We'll take the charge key though. Might as well take the Can't reach you. Yeah, that's that's just good stuff right there. Super secret room should be there. And it is. Um uh, sure. I do find it ironic that we still have not gotten any stat ups from Candy Heart yet. Just haven't had the opportunity to. Blood bag would be incredible. <laughs> Come on, game. You know you wanted to give us blood bag. So unfortunately, we lost the movement speed buff, but we did gain the damage buff from Purity.
I don't know how we made that block with, with ball bandages. I'm not going to lie. That was the luckiest dang block I've ever seen. <laughs> I think it was power. Sure. It gets us down to Polaroid invincibility. Plus also it scales obviously with the money that we get for the late game. We're going to be cruising on to a victory here, I hope. The sun card. Probably save the sun card for the next floor. Saw that quick shot coming. Just going to use it in here. We could have saved it for Isaac, but I'm not going to come back to get a devil card. There's a mini boss here. It's probably going to be gluttony. It's going to be sloth. That just feels good. And taking out the blorbs here is going to be your first priority. Oh, wow. Isaac's just right here. What the heck? Okay. Game is game is just giving up at this point. All right. I mean, hey, I'll take it. I'm going to poo-poo a free win now. Now, we did earn it. I mean, going through the hassle of this horrific movement speed that I was sort of self-inflicted, but also at the same time, like, we didn't start with good movement speed, and the fact that the game didn't give us any movement speed buff at all is also kind of insulting. Now goes Isaac. We made it work, you know? Definitely made it work. The full map, just to see where we're going. Isaac's Tears, Ape Goat. Uh, I mean, this is this is a bookworm, but wow, that is probably the worst chest I think I've ever seen. Might be the worst chest I've ever seen. That's pretty horrific. I want to try to get as many of the envy chunks as possible. You know, to survive through a run that had uh, so many challenges early on with the mo lack of movement speed, makes you, it definitely brings a little bit of that confidence that we were lacking earlier this week back. You know, I felt, I felt a little shaken, a little, a little, uneasy after uh after dropping that run on on twitch the other day and uh, it feels good to be able to to say that you know we, we made wise decisions we did get lucky we definitely got lucky with the with the double bedroom but to be fair we also lost a majority of that to the golden pill wow conquest okay we lost a majority of that to the golden pill as well which is just pure rng so i'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for that Look how much damage we're able to cause there with Maul the Void. So we are going to get the dub here. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this double feature video, make sure you click the like button. Leave the comment down below. We broke a D20 run. We got ourselves a very hard fought but good win here on the regular Eden run on a wacky Wednesday. Question of the episode today is going to be... How much do you value movement speed in your runs? Is it as important as you think it is? Or as I say it is, or do you think it's one of those stats that really doesn't matter in comparison to like damage or something like that? Post them in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like Herman Haynes, Shock Top, and Nicholas. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.